After a week of robust discussions centered on Guyana's energy sector and the significant business opportunities here in Guyana, the 2023 International Energy Conference and Expo wrapped up on Thursday afternoon. There, Finance Minister Dr. Ashmi Singh highlighted the abundant opportunities available here, but he also acknowledged one of the burning problems, that is, the challenges in accessing finance. What we have had in Guyana for the longest while is very traditional conservative retail banking. You have to go in with a loan application, your audited financial statements or your track record of doing business, your financial projections. Chances are they don't want to speak with you unless you have real estate collateral that cannot disappear. You have to go in with a transport for an expensive pro a title, the property deed, because they're looking for traditional, almost risk-free collateral before they lend you. Very plain, vanilla, traditional retail, high street retail banking, at best. The finance minister, however, assured a large gathering of investors and stakeholders that the government is keen on resolving this problem. It's for this reason the government is engaging with the local banking sector to identify what laws or regulations may exist that hinder easier access to finance. You know, we have made the point, for example, that people have contracts, ironclad contracts, with ExxonMobil. And they should be able to assign their receivables from ExxonMobil as security for financing. You have a contract, you're supplying, you have invoices for goods that you've supplied to ExxonMobil. And you should be able to collateralize those, whether it's invoice factoring, and, and receivable assignment are almost outdated practices now, so well entrenched and established they are in the commercial world. But the financial services sector in Guyana is still to make that migration. Once you identify specific legal or regulatory impediments that constrain you from doing this line of business, we will amend the law to remove that constraint. At a forum convened at the State House in Georgetown earlier in January, President Dr. Irfan Ali also acknowledged that the banking sector needs some changes. According to him, some investments have been stalled because of challenges in accessing finance. He, however, assured the gathering there that the government was keen on addressing this issue. There is a clear demand for quarry material that now we have to push to get importation. So the bank must also match what is happening in the country. If you're building out a tourism sector, I gather one bank, uh, the, the one, uh, one of the hotel, the guy is spending all his money and waiting for the bank to approve. And it just keep bouncing from, from director's meeting to director. You, the bank must follow the development of the country. Members of the local private sector have long complained about this issue. And they, however, are keen on working with the government to get it resolved. Reporting for the newsroom from the Marriott Hotel in Kingston, Georgetown, I am Fishani Ragvir.